So the Cavs are 14 and 0. We are continuing to just dominate and best of all find ways to win. We're surpassing all expectations, breaking, you know, franchise records let alone NBA records. I mean, we're the 10th team to be in this position. Call it a streak, call it what you want. I call it a statement. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. First of all, it really is appreciated how much support you guys show. But best of all, you do it with me. And you know, everything that I say on here, you know, I always appreciate the support that I get. But I need you guys to help. You guys need to help me out. Hit the like, hit the comment, hit the share, subscribe button. All is appreciated. And I'm looking forward to doing these videos over again. And hopefully with more success and more just, you know... Uh, not sure how to say this, but just, just hopefully more wins, man. You know, it's been a good two day stretch. Obviously the Buckeyes win today and the Cavs win, you know, yesterday. And, you know, as I'm going to post this, it's probably going to be the same day that we play the Hornets. So this is a great start, man. And I just can't wait to see how it unfolds and how we finish the job. But yeah, you know, this is important. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, share button. It really is appreciated. So one thing that sticks out to me, man, is not just the top. Like you can talk about how top heavy we may come off as, but we are not top heavy. If anything, we're anything but that. I mean, this team has got depth from top to bottom. Karis Levert is making a great case to be six man of the year candidate. George Niang, he's been hit or miss kind of this year, but he's had some moments where he's gotten hot from the three point line. He looks a lot better in shape. Craig Porter Jr., he's been surprising people with high energy. Um, it's just been a great showing, man, from the depth and just, the thing is that we find ways to win. It's not that we get in a hole, we just climb out of it. You know, it's not like we just, you know, lay flat on our backs. Um, and then Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, everybody's just adding continuous fuel to the fire, man. It's just amazing to watch. And, you know, we're not top heavy and the offense is getting going and I will say this again this offense is reminding me of the 2015 to 16 Golden State Warriors in terms of the ball movement and just the offense in general and that's where Kenny Atkinson was during those years this is amazing to watch man it is something that we need to take with just absolute pride if you're a Cleveland Cavs fan because this offense is special this team is special and I just can't wait to see how they finish it off but like I said man Another thing that sticks out to me is offensively, they're great. Isaac Okoro has been playing monstrous defense this year. Dean Wade has been a great guy off the bench to some. You know, he's had some struggles this year. And then you got a multiple, a guy who can play multiple roles, a, many guys who can excel at multiple different positions. And then you got a veteran presence in Tristan Thompson, who's been here a long time. After a brief stint with other teams, he came back to Cleveland. And he's just been a great guy to have in the locker room, man. So, just the balance that this team has is just special. And especially going into this Hornets game and then obviously the Celtics game, it's just important for us to just continue to just play well, man. Because this, you have to figure this, like, eventually they will get a loss soon. Hopefully it's not anytime soon. But, you know, that's just how the NBA goes, unfortunately. There's a reason that no team has gotten 82-0 and in an entire season. I mean, the Warriors, they started off 24-0. and that was the last. That was the best start, you know. The last best start. This is the Cavs are off to the best start since the twenty sixteen Golden State Warriors when they started twenty four and zero. So just a great team overall in terms of like the balance and just like what they're doing is just amazing. And I'm just super super, you know, excited to see them play every night. But I will say though, I, I've given Coach Atkinson more credit in the world than ever, and I'm going to continue to do so. I mean, this bench is averaging 35-plus points a game. I believe that's top five in the league. And spacing has just improved so much with George, with Niang, Levert, everybody. On, we have so many two-way players on this team in terms of how good they are, and just everybody just looks selfless. Everybody looks unselfish. Everybody's not, like, looking for, you know, hero ball. I mean, Donovan Mitchell, he... Played hero ball at the end of the game yesterday because, you know, he it was working. And that's the thing why I call Kenny Atkinson a wizard at this point because he's making what J.B. Bickerstaff started to do, he's making it actually work. So you just love it, man. Love it. Thank you, Kenny Atkinson, man. So much praise I could give this dude. But, you know, that's the best way I can describe it. He's just been playing. He's just been unbelievable in terms of just getting the most out of our guys 
and you know it's just a great sight to see Evan Mobley and Darius Garland got a lot of flack last year in the playoffs and in the regular season you know for how they played but Kenny Atkinson he seems to be unlocking the full potential and the offense that they're running it just it just it just looks very very good man so kudos to this dude I can give him all the praise in the world and then you got to just say man this the deep rosters that go in the league, the teams with the most depth, they tend to win championships. Am I ready to say this team is going to knock off Boston? I am not yet. But this team is different, and I think next Tuesday is a crucial game because it's going to show how we look against them. I mean, we've played some good teams this year. We've played Golden State. we played New York. Milwaukee also is a talented bunch. You know, we've played some good teams. But, you know, this, this the Celtics are the defending champs, so it's going to be interesting to see how we match up against them I mean it's not about the records or what makes you the best it's just how you match up I mean the Nuggets the Cavs for example the Cavs have a better record it may not translate to the best matchup for them but that's just how the NBA works man so yeah deep roster it just feels like everybody's having their own game everybody's you know it's it's everybody's a hero because they're unselfish and it's not one person trying to do too much. It's a resilient group. They find ways to win, even when they're down. Like yesterday against the Bulls. You know, they, they had a 49-point quarter. And then they take a punch from the Bulls, and they're up by four at half. They were get right back up. And they, they there's just been so many instances of this. And that's why I'm just very proud of this team, man, right now. So, got to keep it going, man. Got to understand that we got a big one against Charlotte tomorrow. A game that we can and should win. They're, they're obviously coming off a win over the Milwaukee Bucks. But this is the biggest test against the Boston Celtics. Like I said, they're the defending champions. They know what it takes. We are also on that same path that we, and we hopefully can beat the Celtics. They have more experience, yes, but I really think that we can go into the TD Garden and beat them. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But let's go Cavs, man. We're 14-0. and Let's go for 15, man. That's going to feel great heading into the Boston series. You guys have a great one, and I'll catch you guys later. Go Cavs! Let them know. You guys should know already, though.